day and welcome to the first ever episode of Prince I Pal. I'm your principal. Seems how you can't come to me, I thought I would come to you. I have some great trivia, ideas, thoughts, things are going to make you think and go, hmm. And that way we can spend a little time together each day when we can't be together at school. So enjoy the first episode of Prince I Pal. My mama was a brilliant woman. And mama always said, laughter is the best medicine. So when you're feeling down, find something to smile and laugh about and you will feel better. Because mama always says, laughter is the best medicine. Did you know there are 2,000 thunderstorms on earth every minute? 2,000. I didn't know, did you? When I was little, and I was asked what I wanted to be when I grew up, I wanted to be an archaeologist. An archaeologist is a person who studies history and prehistory through excavation, that's a big word, of sites and the analysis of artifacts and other physical remains. So I wanted to dig in the ground, find bones and artifacts and pieces of history to help tell the story that took place many, many years ago. When I was little, I said, when I grow up, I want to be an archaeologist. Where in the world, where in the world is Mr. McConnell's family from? Well, Mr. McConnell's mom and dad were both born in Ingersoll, Ontario, Canada. That is right here on our map. Ontario, Canada. That is where in the world Mr. McConnell's family comes from. Smelly Socks by Robert Munch. Robert Munch is one of my all-time favorite authors. When Tina wanted new socks, her mom took her to the only store in town. This store only has black socks, said Tina. Can we please go across the river and get some really good socks? We can't drive right across the river because there's no bridge, said Tina's mom. You know, it's a long, long way to the only bridge, and besides, we don't have a car. That sounds like a problem. So Tina went to her grandfather and said, can you please take me across the river in your boat? I want to buy some really good socks. The motor's not working on the boat, said her grandfather. Row, said Tina. We can row. I will row, and you can sit in the back of the boat. You will row, said her grandfather. Yes, said Tina. Rowing is easy. So Tina got in the boat and rowed slowly. Splash, 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 splash. And the boat went in slow circles. Swish, 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 swish. Tina rowed flat, fast. Splash, 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 splash. And the boat went in fast circles. Swish, 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 swish. This boat has forgotten how to row, said Tina. You sit in the back and tell me what to do, said her grandfather. So Tina sat in the back and told her grandfather how to row. And her grandfather rowed all the way across the river. Then they walked all the way through town to the big sock store. See, that's the big sock store. At the store, Tina tried on socks that were too big, socks that were too little, socks that were too blue, socks that were too pink. Tina tried on millions and millions of socks. Really? Millions and millions? That's a lot. Finally, she found a perfect pair of red, yellow, and green socks. Then, since it was almost time for dinner, Tina and her grandfather ran back to the boat, and this time the boat sort of remembered how to row. Tina rowed round and round and round and still got to the other side. When they got back, Tina ran home and yelled, Socks! Socks! Wonderful socks! These are the best socks I've ever seen in my life! Grandpa rowed me all the way across the river to get these socks. I am never going to take them off. Never, said Tina's mother. Never, said Tina. Uh-oh, said Tina's mother. Those are going to be some stinky socks. So Tina wore her socks for a long time. She wore them for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten whole days. Her mother said, Tina, I know you love those socks. 
please just let me wash them real quick. They, they will start to smell if you don't get them washed. Socks, socks, wonderful socks, said Tina. I am never, never going to take them off. After Tina wore her socks for 10 more days, the kids at school said, Tina, what a smell. Change your socks. Socks, socks, wonderful socks, said Tina. I am never, 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 never going to take them off. Look at the stinky. After Tina wore her socks for 10 more days, a whole flock of Canada geese flew over her house and dropped right out of the sky from the smell. Two moose walked through her yard and fell over from the smell. Ducks, raccoons, squirrels fell over when she walked to school. Finally, even a skunk fell over from the smell. Tina's friends decided to do something. They all came to her house and knocked on the door. Blam, 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 blam. When Tina opened the door, they grabbed her and carried her to the river. Then they held her, their noses and took off her socks. Some of the kids held Tina and some of the kids washed her socks. Scrub, 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 scrub. All the fish in the river floated to the top, acted like they were dead. The kids washed some more. Scrub, 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 scrub. All the beavers ran out of the river and went to live with Tina's grandfather. They washed some more. Scrub, 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 scrub. Far down the river, people said, how come the river smells like dirty socks? Finally, the socks were clean. Wow, said Tina. They look nicer when they're clean. Wow, said Tina. They smell nicer when they're clean. Wow, said Tina. They feel nicer when they are clean. Tina put on the socks and said, I'm going to wear clean socks from now on. The beaver left her grandfather's house and went back to the river. The Canadian geese got up off the ground and flew away. The fish decided they weren't really dead after all and jumped and splashed in the river. Tina went to her mom and said, my socks are nice and clean and I think it would be very nice if you took me to town to get me a nice new red, yellow, and green shirt. Promise to wash it, said her mother. No, said Tina. If I wait long enough, the kids at school will wash it for me. Uh-oh. Apparently she didn't wash her socks or her sweater again. That is Smelly Socks by Robert Munch. I'm so excited that our students are continuing on in first in math. Well, our fourth and fifth grade students, because that's who does first in math. Our first in math players of the day are McKenna, Jet, Deegan, William, Candace, and Camry. I hope you continue up with your first in math practice. Fun with numbers. Did you know a number can be divided evenly by three if when you add up all the digits in the number, it can be divided by three? Hmm. That is interesting. I did not know that. That is fun with numbers. On this day in science in 1965, America's first two-person spaceflight began as Gemini 2, and it was launched from Cape Kennedy um, with astronauts Virgil Grissom and John Young. Isn't that amazing? On this day, March 23rd, in science. 365 days of wonder for March 23rd. What wisdom can you find that is greater than kindness? Word of the day is... Welcome. Welcome is the sky, heaven, or upper atmosphere. Welcome. Joke of the day, why was the bee mad? Well, you'd be mad too if someone stole your honey. Be respectful, be responsible, and be kind. Treat others as you'd like to be treated, and speak to others as you'd like to be spoken to. Have a great day. Remember, it's never goodbye. It's just ta-ta for now. We'll see you tomorrow. I am Prince iPal, your principal. It was good to see you today.